In this video, I'm going to show you how to add margin to the top of your HTML elements, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you code better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. With that out of the way, let's learn how to add margin to the top of HTML elements over in the screen capture. Let's go check it out. Now when you add margins, what it does is it adds space outside of an element, which presumably is what you want because you're watching this video. So I've developed a very simple HTML page. The page is shown on the right and the code that generates that page is shown on the left. I just have a simple style block and I have some HTML code at the bottom. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a margin to the top of the red box to move it down. And the way we do that, there's two ways. We can do it either with inline CSS or CSS in the style block. Now first I'm gonna show you the inline CSS and then I'm gonna tell you to never do it again. But I want you to know how it works. So if we click into the element for the red um, for the red box, which is the div with an ID of box one. We type in style equals open and close quotes, and we type in margin top, which is a CSS property that tells browsers to add margin to the top of something. Then we add a colon, and then the amount of pixels that we want to add for the top margin, and the semicolon. We save this file, refresh this page, and we see our box shifts down and it's shifted down by exactly 20 pixels, which our instructions tell it to do. Now, this is called inline CSS because it's right in the HTML. And the reason it's a bad thing is because if you have a very big and complicated website and you have all your CSS in the HTML, it's gonna be an absolute gong show to maintain. Not only that, but it's gonna increase your file size every time the page loads and you, your page is going to load more slowly than it would if you had this information in a style sheet or in a style block. And also, if you want to add the same margin or the same color or the same font property to multiple elements, if you do it inline, you have to apply it to every single one. If you do it via a CSS style block, you can apply it to all of those elements at the same time. For example, up at the very top, I have selected box one, box two, and box three, and all of these instructions are applied to all three of those boxes at the same time, which makes CSS very convenient. It makes your uh, maintaining the design of your site very easy. So to move these instructions out of inline, we copy the instructions, we delete the open and close quotes, delete the equals, delete the style, and we go up to box number one, which is the red box, we paste in margin top 20, we save this file, refresh the page and nothing will change because those are the exact same instructions just done in a different way. And that's how we add margin to the top of HTML elements. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below the video. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And next up is clicking one of these videos over on the right hand side so you can learn even more about coding and get stronger, better, faster, smarter at it. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.